Hey, what's going on guys? And today I'm back with another Rubik's Cube video. And today it is going to be the gear ball. Now, let me give you something about the gear ball. You have to turn it twice in order to move it the other way, because turn it once, you have to turn it twice. So that's the trick about this, but how we solve this is get the corner, pair it with the center. We get the gears, correct spot, they don't have to be oriented. We saw the edges, and then we just orient the gears correctly. So, we're also going to be talking to you guys about my Master Pyramids and my 6x6. Six six. My Master Pyramids is back here, and 6x6 six six is right there. But let's go ahead and get this scrambled and get started. Okay, so now that it's scrambled, we're going to solve it, just like I said, I'm like, Putting all the corners in the correct position and matching up with the centers. So, as you see, there is no white for this cube. It's still six sides, but we use red for this. So, once you so get two matched up right, then it's all of them are done. So, red and orange, right here. Now, where's another orange piece? That's red on the top, right here. You know, we can turn it over twice, it's under it, and then just turn it up. Now these two are correct. Let's find another one. Let's find the other two, the other two pair right here. And then we match it with the red center. Now we flip the cube over. And then all of these are in the correct spot now, because we did the first layer. So we match up with the blue, these blue, and then get it to the centers. And step one is complete. We have corners correct um, with the centers. So let's move on to step two with getting these correct. Okay, so how we do this is, let's see. We have a green here and a green here. And you say, oh, I'm in the correct spot. No, because this red is supposed to be with its red center. And this purple is supposed to be this. And when it's matching the same color, like green and green, but just need to be swapped, it'll just like this. And this is the only situation where we do this algorithm. The algorithm is, remember, when I do this, that, that's just one. So double up, over, double up, and over. And then... We may skip. Oh, here we go. These two need to be like, like this needs to be switched over here. So double up, double once over, double up, and over. And it looks like we got all of them. So now this step to get all these edges. So I have a line. It's most you will get. If you don't, you still do this algorithm and you hold it like. The line you hold just like this with these two need to be but this whole line's like right we hold like this we go up over up over up over and then they're all there and now from here it's basically just getting the gears cut or just doing this okay so we look and see where is this pointing is this pointing up or down and if it's pointing up we go one two three four that's there, and this is pointing up too, because it's always this piece, and we just turn it, just turn it, until all the gears are correctly solved, and there we have it. The gear ball is now completely solved. It is a very easy cube, like I said. Now, I also need to talk about some other cubes, so I'm going to go ahead and start talking about them. Okay, so as I said, I was going to talk about some cubes now look at over here but this mega minx is two by two it's just like the three by three one over there we solve it the same exact way but i will be doing a tutorial on that that'll probably be one of my next videos along with the skew extreme pretty similar to the cube. and five by five i'm not a very good so i won't make it on a video right now but i will make a video on it Later, when I get even better, and the funny thing is, the 5x5 feels so small to me now because 
I got a six by six. I saw it twice now. I haven't really made a video on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. So the six by six slowing the center is probably the hardest part, just saying. The last two centers. Um, it's kinda just hard, I don't know. It's pretty hard for me. I mean I just do random stuff and then I end up solving it. But the edges I pair them up just like to get them like four by four edges. See? You get them like this. So like right here and right here. And then match them up like regularly. And then yeah, it took me a couple days because I didn't really do it that much. But I taught myself and I'm pretty excited now. Last cube is the 4x4 four four Pyramix. Woohoo! This took me a long time, but I got there. So how you solve it is, so you make the triangles in the center, the little triangles, get these correct, then put these in the correct position. Now this takes a little, a little but my video is not going to be for people who want to get a really fast time, who just want to know how to solve it. And that's going to really be my video, I say. And last is, I think that's the ghost cube. <laughs> really hard cube. It turns an angle, but can't turn like this because the pieces are kind of messed up. It's like a shape shifter, except it's not just perfect squares. You have to imagine like a, I should say, 3x3, three three, which is pretty hard to imagine, I gotta say. But it's, it's a fun cube. It's just, I think I'm going to try to learn how to solve it today. It's the main one I'm going to be doing, but... Yeah, um, I think that's really it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what other Rubik's Cubes I should get next, because <laughs> I'm looking for more for Christmas. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye!